a huge spider here. For the next 24 hours, I'm gonna be living inside the most affordable beach house in the country of Belize. Yeah, that's right, this bubble tent. I'm gonna spend the day here, I'm gonna sleep here. I'm going to hopefully catch some fish to eat and make a delicious ceviche. We're having a hard time here, this fish got tangled. But we got some! Just south of Secret Beach, who knows what's gonna be around. I'm a little worried about that. You can see now, I'm just gonna give it a stir. Your fish, chip, tomato, onion ratio, let me tell you right now. And all of this I'm gonna be doing from my beautiful, beautiful bubble tent on the beach. Let me give you a quick tour. Now this luxurious property boasts two separate rooms. You have your main room right here, which as you guys can see, it's not very big, but I have a little mattress here. And then the second room is designed strictly to keep the air in when you exit the tent. First step, I gotta get out on the water. I gotta get some food. Let's go to that right away here before we waste too much time. Now, before I get in the water, you guys are probably very intuitively thinking, is that beachfront lot for sale? Why yes, if you thought that, it is. And after I go fishing, I tell you all the details about it. But step one, I need to make sure I have something to eat and I'm craving some ceviche. Typically on this side of the island, what you'll find is barracuda, mangrove snapper, mutton snapper, You'll also find some fish that don't taste very good like chubs. You might find some jack. I don't mind jack, but obviously today what I'd like to get is a nice snapper. So you know me, I like to use a spear gun. So I will be using this spear gun here. It's got a nice line on it. And uh, hopefully we can shoot some fish out there. From here, let's go see what we can get. One of the key features of this property is the shallow but beautiful water that extends out from it. So. I'm gonna have to go quite a ways out here to actually find fish. Luckily, I know my way around the water. I don't really recommend anyone that doesn't know their way around here because there is some boat traffic. Not a lot, but boats don't really know when you're there without a dive marker or anything. So if you are gonna swim out really far, like I'm talking a mile, you're gonna want a little dive flag. Whenever I'm spearfishing, my first instinct is to look for structures that fish might be hiding around. That's precisely what I did here. Seeing all these bait fish was a great sign, but I only have some veggies at the camp and I need protein. So I just saw two huge barracudas. I'm a little concerned about shooting them out here alone. They're very big, so I'm gonna keep looking. Here, this fish got tangled, but we got one. We got some food for today. Hopefully, we can get back out. We got some. We're back in now. We got a couple nice fish. We have a jack and a kubera snapper. This will be good for a nice little ceviche snack. Oh, I'm just relieved. I'm starving right now. Now you guys have heard of Secret Beach. It is located a couple miles north of us, but the coastline extends all the way down here on the west side of Ambergris Key. This property has 92 feet of pristine beachfront. It is one of the longest properties in terms of depth when you go in, but there's something really important that is extremely valuable on this property. Is the thing that an amateur investor might not notice, A, the fact that this property could be subdivided into dozens of smaller lots and then resold? Is it B, that Caya Spanto, one of the top private island resorts is located about a football throw off the coast of the island? Or is it C, the fact that this property has a almost three foot high retaining wall that extends a good portion of the property? Lalo, don't eat all the Cheetos. We're oh. filming. Oh, my bad. Or is it D, all of the above items? That's right. Wow, it's really nice sun. That's right. If you said D, you were in fact correct. Those are some of the best advantages of this beautiful property. Anyone interested in getting more details on this property, my email is down below. It is listed at 850,000 and there is potentially financing available. So looking forward to hearing from you guys. Back to the video. So we got fish, mission accomplished. Now we need fire, fish, fire, double F. So I have this completely rusted out shovel here and it's got this jagged edge. That is going to help me get some firewood here because I don't, who knows what's in there? And then a lighter. Guys, I'm not a survival guy. I'm gonna use a lighter to light my fire. Oh, what? There's a huge spider here. Okay, I almost just put my foot on this spider. Hopefully he's still here. Actually, here we go, guys. Oh no, where did it go? Oh, there it is. It looks like a 
looks like a tarantula or something. I'm gonna try to give you guys a better view. A little baby tarantula, maybe? Any of our spider experts get in the comment section? Oh, no! Oh! Okay, we're not gonna harm the spider, but that's an indicator of what's in the bush right now, guys. You know, I don't even really know where to begin. There's our fire pit. Now, let's get some firewood. These are an extremely good tool for starting a fire on a beach. We wanna be careful, make sure there's none of these around our little fire pit that we just cut, but right here, the end of these trees, obviously you don't wanna take the living ones, any of the dead leaves that have fallen off. They're very dry, they're easily flammable, and a great way to start getting some of your bigger logs lit. I can actually see a couple smaller palms in here that will take a, a couple of these off as well. We've collected some wood. And by the way, guys, if this video gets 500 likes, we're gonna go to the jungle with the jaguars and the monkeys and bring the bubble tent in there. So show some love, let us know, and we'll make that happen. So we first have a Kubera snapper right here. Second up, we have the jack. So I'm gonna be making a ceviche here on the beach. The sun is setting. I'm just imagining if, if I owned this lot, what I would do is build a beautiful beach house here. But uh, for now, the bubble tent's got to do. Okay, so we got our first fillet down. We got three to go, just taking the bones out. Now, for those of you out there that don't know what a ceviche is, hopefully most of you do, because it is delicious. Basically, a ceviche is when you cook the fish with lime juice. So we're gonna use veggies, lime juice. We've got all of our fish right here. So a good amount of fish, and that's gonna cook. And this is one of the most common dishes that you'll find around Belize. You can see this coming together right here, but more importantly, follow me over here. I'm about to add the lime in. Come on, come on. It's Belize. I'm living life out here. I'm living in a bubble but that's more of like a figurative bubble of beauty and the essence of the sea and lots of great stuff. Let's cut some lime. Lime juice there, you can see now, I'm just gonna give it a stir. You can smell the citrus, tomato, onion, cilantro. So you can smell all coming together now. And the avocado is just gonna give it that nice, smooth, buttery texture as well. Let's go with a little pepper. This is going to bring all of those flavors together. And now, bon appetit. That's a nice robust chip. You want to have your ratios on point, your fish, chip, tomato. You know I'm undefeated out here. Fishing was amazing, ceviche was amazing, the real estate was amazing. Now I need to get ready for bed. I gotta get my jammies on. I gotta get tucked in over here and I gotta start chilling out. So it's time, give me a minute here. Oh. Much better. One small step for mankind, and one large step. I've never read this book, I'm excited actually. And you know the best part about it? The first seven pages are photos. <laughs> this is the dumbest idea yet, but it smells really zen in here. The views are impeccable, and now, I'm seeing the final moments of daylight here. After this, guys, we're going into the night. That might have been one of the best sunset views I've ever seen. Now I'm inside and it's really setting in. The night is here, there could be some wildlife. I don't expect it. From here, it's lights out and hopefully everything goes good. Okay guys, it's pitch black right now. I don't know what I just heard at the generator, but something is making a noise over there. 
I don't know what it is. And I'm hoping it's nothing, but if this is Lebo, I'm gonna be furious for one. If this is a wild animal, then that's gonna really suck. All right, it fully just shut off here. Yeah, it's not turning back on. All right, we gotta go check on this one. Stay calm, guys. Okay, I'm not scared, you guys are scared. Now this is deflating. This sucks, guys. And I did hear some like waves. <laughs> this is freaking spooky. One second, here's the generator. It's plugged in on. So far, we're having some serious technical difficulties at the worst time. Okay, now something just jumped in the water there. I don't know what just happened, but the generator died. I'm going back in. I'm gonna get back in the bubble. Hopefully I see you guys in the morning from here. Good morning, guys. The sun has just about risen. It is bright over here but the sun is currently going through a beautiful rising on the other side. Final rating on the bubble tent. It's hot at the end of the day and it's kind of cold in the middle of the night. But the views, the views are 100 out of 10. That almost makes it fully worth it. Let's go show you the sunrise though. Ah! As you guys know, we are facing the west on Secret Beach. So behind me over here is the east side where the sun is currently rising. And it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful one. Not a bad sleep, a little bit hot in the bubble tent, but now in the morning I was actually cold. So it kind of transitioned in the middle of the night. It's all worth it when you come out and you see these views because right now I get to enjoy a morning with just pristine, amazing views. Goodbye my bubble, goodbye my friend. It has been a really okay sleep. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the bubble tent video. If you do want to get an inquiry in on this lot, make an offer, learn about Belize real estate, my email's up there. If you guys want to see us do the bubble tent again, you got to let us know because if we don't hear the comments or the likes, then we don't know what type of content you guys want to see. But if you do, I will take this bubble tent into the middle of the jungle with the jaguars, with the monkeys, with the tapirs, with all the animals, and we are going to camp in the middle of the jungle. So show me the likes. Appreciate the comments and love, guys. With that being said, we'll see you in the next video and hopefully down here in paradise soon. We out.